Good morning, world. Actually, I think it is uh, afternoon from Kauai. So I wanted to talk to you today about cameras. If this is not of interest to you, I would say click this off because it's going to be all about technical stuff. Um, I have been a professional photographer for 29 years and have spent at least a half a million dollars on my business buying equipment, paying for processing, buying film, buying cameras, everything, printing costs. Um, so I am qualified to tell you that um, it's really not about the camera. So um, yeah, of course I have expensive equipment, but I didn't always. So when you start shooting, um, don't think it's the camera that takes the picture because you can get an amazing picture from a Canon power shot or um, as I started with the Kodak Instamatic, they are no longer made, a film camera when I was 15 years old. Well, actually, I'd been shooting for about five years. Um, I got great pictures with that. And uh, now it's probably all vintage and camp to do that. But listen... Um, you can get amazing pictures with a hundred dollar camera okay i'm using my iphone 6 plus for this you can get pretty incredible pictures from a phone camera so don't let yourself be limited by the equipment because it doesn't really matter that much the thing is there's not that much difference between mid-level cameras and the high-end cameras that cost thousands of dollars they're a lot more money but they're not even that much better so, um, really, your best bet is between that uh, starting out phone cameras, point and shoots, to the mid levels like um, the really high end Canon T3i, um, you know, around $1,000, 1000 to 1500 Those are kind of the mid level f to me because then you can go into that, you know, two to $3,000 area that. You don't really actually have to go into it depends on what you're shooting so that's the other thing too like everybody gets all excited about the GoPro yeah it's an amazing camera but it's not good for people it adds about 10 pounds to people because it's a wide angle something that people don't think of so you're not going to get attractive pictures of people really I think a good all-around camera is um, the Panasonic Lumix with a Leica lens not without it. Uh, those are $400. But hey, you don't have to spend $400. You can get um, a couple hundred dollar Canons, uh, point and shoots on Amazon. So this is really about how you can be taking amazing pictures without spending a lot of money. And the main thing is you want to uh, practice your angle, light, composition, and timing rather than making it all about the camera because it's not all about the camera if you like to photograph people it's about a connection between you and that person if you like to photograph sunsets it's about being there before the sunset happens and trying different angles and composing shots from between trees and trying different angles it's a lot more about creativity that doesn't really get emphasized um I, it seems, you know, when the digital thing started, uh, it was all about Photoshop and less about art. And um, until robots are taking the pictures, for me, who makes uh, all of my money from photography and um, some from writing, it's about art. It's about the fact that you see the world differently than any other pair of eyes. How exciting is that? So, comment below, questions, love to talk with you further about this, but this is my soapbox for the day about cameras. So have fun shooting, comment below, and uh, talk soon. Aloha.